How's it going lads, Will Potter here and welcome to the 32nd episode of Road to a Better Bollocks FC. Now it's actually been so long since my last episode that I kind of forget how to talk just a little bit so if there's any weird mumblings going on, that's just my brain having a big massive fart, you know. But anyway, before we plunge our massive genitals into today's episode, if you're looking for some extremely cheap Ultimate Team Coins then make sure you check out the game, keys.co.uk. Their link will be in the description below and if you use the discount code Phil, you get a further 5% off. They also have a fully automated service so get your coins in less than 3 seconds which is absolutely nipple tingling, just like that bit of Love and Robin show that are there on the screen. But anyway, we'll continue on here in the 25th minute of this game. It's time to introduce that man to Kembe. Not in my heart. <laughs> What an incredible save from that man, Tim Krul, you know. Well, I've got one more person to introduce, and that man is Martin. Sweaty time. Thank you, Martin Tyler. Well, no, not really, thank you. I've just conceded a goal, you big bollocks, because of you. <laughs> uh, but on the subject of, like, Dikembe Mutombo and all that, I've actually got my dad to start working on a Dikembe Mutombo song. I've got a very, very early version of it up on Instagram, if you want to have a, have a listen, right? I'll have the link of that in the description. Definitely give it a listen. I'm going to get him to make a full version that you can download. Download? Whoa! Download on SoundCloud uh, for free as well, you know? So that's definitely something to look forward to. I actually can't wait till it's finished myself, you know? Uh, but anyway, the first game of this episode, and we draw one off. It's not the end of the world, but... I'm not here to draw games, I'm here to win games, but uh, as you can see, I've drawn my first two games of the division, so it's not been a good start, you know. But we go into the next game using our informed to rap team, you know, it's, it's a little, nice little hybrid, you know. Now, I just want to explain before I go any, on any further that uh, I actually did want to upload last last week, like last Sunday, but I wasn't able to, literally, I've been so, so busy. Uh, one one of the days during the week, I, I was actually up for 41 hours straight working on stuff, so it was, it was just absolutely mental you know um i <laughs> my eyes were like you should have seen how red my eyes were when i went to bed after the 41 hours but anyway uh we'll continue on here in the 33rd minute this prick uh goes up for an over the top ball and remy slots it away now this is the second time in two episodes i think where i've gone on a spell of about seven fifa minutes you know not even real minutes where i can see three goals look here's the third one in the 40th minute and greece was actually a cracking finish right into that corner i don't know what happens to me it's like once i can see I go all out attack or something and leave gaps all over the shop but early on in the second half what a goal this was it's only when you see the replays you realize just how good it was you know uh, you get a close up after after this replay you get a bit of a close up and I'll tell you something I think it's time to get a close up of my nipple here we go no I'm only messing <laughs> What am I talking about? But uh, this was the beginning of a comeback, I think. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, in the 58th minute, I find Pato Pato with a beautiful little dummy. And you know what's coming here. An absolute wellier into the top corner, you know. Super, super stuff. And in the 67th minute, I am filthy. Cause you're filthy! Yes, I am, baby. <laughs> I love saying that. I don't know why. But in the 82nd minute, wait till you see this. I break through. Hernandez tackles the player. And then, bullshit. Absolute bullshit. I, I was gonna basically be through on goal and I jumped over, I fell over the player on the floor. That should have been a red card. Uh, and then I actually get a red, car red card in the 90th minute. Now, to be fair, I didn't touch him. That's a dive, but I don't know. I did, but it, it wasn't a bad tackle. Or, uh, what, sorry, what am I talking about? Like I said at the start, I, I'll forget how to speak in this episode. What I was trying to say there is it wasn't uh, too bad because in the last minute of the game, it didn't really affect the result or anything. So that's two draws uh, to start off this episode. And look at this team. I must say, when I saw this team, I, I just started clapping. I was like, oh, yes, I like the look of that. Um, my oh, finger, my finger. Finger. My finger, my finger. My vinga, my vinga. My vinga, my vinga. My vinga, my vinga. That French genius slots away the ball in the first minute, and it was all down to him. He won the penalty. Look at that for a pass move. The ball from Bernard was orgasmic, and Carlos Eduardo, unfortunately, was a little bit ambitious there, but it was a goal up, so I was happy enough. And this is just Mavinga's game. Look at this for a tackle. Oh, he was like throwing his body on the line and all that. But unfortunately, in the 40th minute, an over the top through ball, and the most ridiculous first touch from Neymar is like he chested it, it went over his head, and then he somehow volleyed it straight away. I have no idea how it happened, uh, but it did, and that's the that's the main thing. But we're in control pretty much. Look at those half-time stats. We're doing well. An absolutely beautiful pass move. Whip your Ferreira Roches out, and Carlos Eduardo slots the ball away. That was absolutely delicious, has to be said. But look up at Chetty there, holding his leg. He's keeping players on side, and it's just, uh, well, 
uh, basically my whole back four kept him on side, but there was no defender there to, to intercept the ball, you know. But in the 81st minute, Ronaldinho oozes class. I mean, not only does he ooze class, he oozes jip. Jip, oh, I haven't said that word in years, uh, but it was a lovely little header. I just really actually like the look of that goal. It looked very cool, you know. Uh, and it's a, you know, Bernard is like five foot nothing, <laughs> and uh, for him to score a header is mental. But here we go, Martin. Sweaty. T no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Not in my ass. Uh, thanks be to Jesus. In the 90th minute, he didn't score a filthy goal like that. We get our first win of the episode. Uh, Jesus, I was delighted with that. Um, we got, we're still unbeaten, in fairness, but we did make a few improvements to our team, uh, our Dutch team. We got Rekik, uh, Congolo. Uh, who else do we get? Wijnaldum, I think. <laughs> I'm trying to put a bit of a Dutch accent on here. I got the Willems and uh, Leroy Fair. Yes, he's very good. <laughs> oh God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, but honestly, I'm not sure how to pronounce uh, Vinaldum or Wijnaldum. Uh, let me know in the description below, you know. But uh, I've play I'm playing him up front. It's a little Dutch experiment I'm going for here, you know. And hopefully it pays off. And in the 23rd minute, Wijnaldum, <laughs> fine Schneider. But look at that for a tackle from your man. That was absolutely brilliant in fairness. And uh, we're I really found that those little improvements that you lads suggested really made this team a lot more solid and to be fair I think the right adjective for the team now is it, that it's jizz worthy you know what I mean uh, but in the 63rd minute this is just brilliant stuff here uh, Leroy Fair, Fair finds Elliot now it's a little bit funny what happens here right but it's a lov some lovely skills and then the goal was just ridiculous looking it's like instead of uh, Elliot doing a fist pump after he scored he like does a head pump look at this yeah <laughs> uh, and it was an absolutely woeful goal to be completely honest with you but in the 67th minute have a look at this this guy's a filthy bollocks not <laughs> uh, i was so so happy when that didn't go in and then leroy fair showing that he is just an he is such a monster I, I haven't used him before until now uh but look at that and look at that save from Petr Cech. and after making that save if you couldn't get up and like save the ball from trickling over the line i'd say that i i well to be honest with you i couldn't stop laughing after that goal so bollocks fc beat i piss on you 2-0 i'm delighted what a stupid name for a team <laughs> I can't really say anything, can I? But anyway, uh, we go into the next game. We come up against another French side. A lot of people are going with the French. I'm finding that a bit mental now, you know. But uh, Paul Pogba, Griezmann, all the usual candidates in there. And in the second minute, look at this. It was a poor, poor uh, effort from Tim Krill. You really should, really should have saved that, you know. But uh, don't... I, we basically don't need to worry about that because the little Dutch experiment I was talking about earlier has paid off. Look at that for a finish from Wijnaldum. Uh, <laughs> it's an absolutely delicious goal. And once that went in, I, I my my trousers were down around my ankles. And uh, anyone who walked into my room then, I, I, I didn't care. Uh, <laughs> what am I talking about? Oh, Jesus Christ. It's been too long since I've done a video like this. But uh, we really were piling on the pressure. Leroy Fair, I just thought I'd try a little ball roll to a, to a bit of a bend around the corner you know and um, but unfortunately it didn't pay off so as you can see it's a pretty pretty even game and in the first few seconds of the second half I don't think he was like paying attention to his, to the screen and I nearly scored an absolute screamer with uh, with Schneider but we'll continue on here anyway and nursing is an absolute boss we find Vineldum in the box and that man the Dutch experiment that I won't shut up about pays off and here we go Fuck that bitch. Fuck that bitch. Fuck that bitch. Oh, come on, Vinaldum, you hardy little bollocks here, but it's an absolutely beautiful goal. And look at this effort from Van Ryan, my right back. But then Vinaldum for the hat trick. No, no, unfortunate. I basically would have romantically exploded if that had gone in. Look at this for an effort from Narsing. Oh, uh, beautiful stuff. And the defending from Congolo here is just top notch stuff. Very clever. <laughs> How he didn't get a free kick for that, I've no idea. But we win the game because of the Dutch experiment that I must have said about 18 times at this stage. It has paid off. That is the end of today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, do leave a like because it helps you out so, so much. I'll talk to you again soon, lads. Have a good one. Love you.